Hey everybody, it's Kathy and today I'm showing you my capsule wardrobe for Maui for eight days. I get on the plane in less than 36 hours, so I'm gonna try and get this video up while, so you can see it while I'm away. So this is everything I'm taking. I'm doing carry-on only. Whenever I do my packing video, I'll show you my other carry-on tote that I bring with my electronics, uh, liquid stuff like that. But for now, we're just talking about clothes. I am waiting on a delivery for one pair of linen shorts and a sleeveless dressier tank. It's supposed to be here today, so I hope that I get it in time. But follow me on Instagram and you'll be able to see all of my outfits while I'm away in Maui. So I really pared down what I'm bringing and I learned this last year when I went to Italy for 10 days. You can go check that video out. But you know what? I'm gonna take this. It doesn't look like a lot but I bet you I probably still will come home and not have used some of these things because I used to be very much an overpacker, but you can get by with so little if you have to. So the key that I find is to pick a color like black or navy as your base. I like to go with navy and then I will accessorize with colorful tops. I'm not bringing a lot of jewelry because we're gonna be mostly at the beach or snorkeling you know, just chill, we're not dressing up a lot. But I do have one dressy dress to show you and I'll show you all the footwear that I'm taking as well. So let's start things off with the dresses. This is a new purchase, I just got it. You can see it in my affordable dress haul video. I love it, I'm gonna wear this on Mother's Day and I'll put a picture. If I have a picture of me wearing any of these things, I will insert it here. Uh, but yeah, this is really beautiful and I think it's going to go really nice for Mother's Day in Maui. So on the Monday, we don't have anything booked, so we'll probably just stick by the pool. And I'm taking two bathing suits. I'm taking two tankinis, uh, the one by Miracle Suit that I bought at Talbot's. I really love this. I think it's very flattering. I like the swim skirt because it covers, you know, the top of the thighs. And the other tankini that I'm taking, I kept the smaller size in the uh, Amazon tankini with the blue paisley. And I absolutely love the, um, the boy swim shorts. I've never had a pair of those before and I really do like them much more than a brief. So for swimsuit cover-ups, I already have the navy gauze one from Talbot's. It's laying on my bed ready to be packed. And then I have this one, which is actually a cover-up that I got from Talbot's by the brand Cabana Life. And they have so many different choices on their website. Uh, lots of different colors, um, you know, some with sleeves if you want sleeves. But this can also double as a dress. And I'll probably wear it as a cover-up and I may wear it as a dress. It's so pretty, I love blue, I love pink, and this just made me so happy, it's really cute. So then on Tuesday, we are actually taking the ferry from Maui to, I think it's Lanai, because there is a cat sanctuary that I've been following on Instagram, and I really wanna to go to this cat sanctuary. I think they have like 700 cats. So we're taking a ferry over there, and we're spending two hours at the cat sanctuary, and then the rest of the day, they have this beautiful beach. It's next to the Four Seasons Hotel, but the, it's public beaches, I guess, in Hawaii. But it's supposed to be a very, very good spot for snorkeling. So we have our snorkel equipment. And I'll show you this. This is new, I haven't tried it yet. But I always have trouble when I snorkel with, you know, the thing you put in your mouth because I have a small mouth. And I find those things are so big, I always like choke or gag. And then when I'm swimming, water gets in and then like I don't feel good after. So I'm trying this out. I hope I don't get too claustrophobic in it. It's a full face mask. So my nose is covered, my mouth is covered. And this has a ball in it that I get hit by a wave or I can even swim underwater. No water will get in. So I really hope this works out because I love to snorkel. So we're really excited about this beach because there's a, something called a sweetheart rock and there's a blowhole. I think there's some places in it where the water is very calm and it's almost like hot tubs. It's supposed to be a great spot to see the sea turtles and maybe even some spinner dolphins. So we're really, really looking forward to that. And then on Wednesday, we are going on a 10 hour tour, the road to Hannah. And I actually just uh, saw on Instagram that they had a part of the road washout. 
So fingers crossed they get that fixed before next Wednesday because that's something that we are really looking forward to. We could have rented a car and drove ourselves, but we decided uh, we'll just go on a tour. They know where all the best spots are and then we don't have the hassle of driving. On that day, I'm probably going to wear this dress by Athleta. I bought this last year. I'm not sure if it's still available, but I will still link it. I love it because it's, you know, it's plain, but it's kind of like dressy plain has a drawstring waist and the fabric is that fabric where if it gets wet it's going to dry really easily. I think if I decide to go swimming like this would also work as a swimsuit cover-up. So that's going to be my dress for on Wednesday. So Thursday morning we're actually going on a catamaran ride. I think they're picking us up right at the beach at the Westin uh, at 7 a.m. and then we're gone for five hours. So when I leave uh, the hotel that day I will probably wear the blue tankini with the navy blue gauze cover up. But then when we return, we'll probably want to shower and maybe go to the mall because we'll probably have had enough sun for the day. So if that's the case, I'm going to wear this dress. I know it's not the most flattering uh, because normally I would go for something with a smaller print. But I love this dress when I saw it. It has a navy background and I absolutely love the flowers. They just made me think of Hawaii and I wanted a few Hawaiian type dresses. I like sleeveless, but you know, if you get a little chilly, you can always put a little shrug on or a little sweater. So I'll wear that dress on Thursday afternoon. I've already forgot if I told you what I'm wearing Monday or not. I think I said Monday we'll probably just hang out at the hotel and maybe do a little shopping. So when I'm not in my bathing suit, I will wear this dress by Talbot's. It's new. It's our tea by Talbot's line. It might have SPF sun protection built into the clothing. The uh, sleeves are a little bit longer. They're a cap sleeve. Has this cute little cutout in the back. Now I've tried this on. I didn't like it the first time. I found it a bit too big for me and I know it is a little boxy but you can cinch the waist in and I'll probably cinch it in a bit more and then pull it up so I create more of a waist like underneath my chest. I wish that they had designed it differently because this stupid thing you know it hits right on the belly. But I decided I'm going to keep it. I'm going to make it work for me. Not every outfit can be perfect but I do like the quality of their dresses and they always have sales on. So this is from Talbot's and I love their dresses. And I'm actually waiting for another dress that I just remembered I'm getting from Talbot's for the trip. So I'll have another dress to, uh, to pack. So on Friday, we may rent a car and go to, there's this crater, crater I can't think of the name, where you can go to watch the sun come up or the sun set. Uh, we're not doing either of those because I think if you want to see the sun come up you have to like leave your hotel at two in the morning and then it's a big rigmarole you have to get a park pass so we may just go during the day just to see the crater be up in the clouds but it is supposed to be cool up there so 50 Fahrenheit so for me that's just a nice balmy day in spring because you know I live in Canada and we get cold winters so what I'll probably do is I may wear this dress which is from Amazon on its own it kind kind of looks a little uh I don't know. It's not something that I would have reached for, but if you watch my dress video, you'll see me style it with a jean jacket and it's kind of cute and that's kind of how I had planned on styling it, but I'm not going to take my jean jacket just because I don't know how much room I'm going to have in my suitcase. This is the only long sleeve item that I'm taking. So I'm going to wear this on the plane going to Hawaii, coming home from Hawaii, and I'll wear it that morning uh, if we go to the crater. So it has a hood on it. It's nice light fleece, it's zip up. And the thing that I like about this is most of these clothes are from Talbot's. I always buy indigo blue. So the thing about Talbot's, if you buy like a color like indigo blue, say a couple months later you buy indigo blue, they're gonna match, they're gonna be the same color family. So I think that would go okay with this dress because it's just a casual look. I don't wanna wear pants because then we might go to a butterfly farm and then it's, you know, if it's going to be warm, I don't want to be dressed like, you know, winter weather because I am in Hawaii. Now I do have a few other options. I ordered a pair of these linen shorts, which are hopefully coming today. And I ordered this dressier sleeveless tank top. And I liked it because it has like ruching right here in the chest, which is very, very flattering. But if that doesn't come in time, I have some other options. 
I bought this and I love this. Several of you have bought it as well. It's part of the T by Talbot's line. It has a little cutout in the back, very tiny horizontal stripe. So uh, you can wear this, you know, to exercise, but you know, I'm gonna wear it with shorts, jeans, whatever. And then I'm taking this, I'll probably wear this on the plane ride home with uh, the blue pants that I have on in there, the Talbot's go everywhere pants, and then with the navy. See how nice that looks? I just like the look of this, the navy with the green, it really pops. So this will be my outfit home on the plane. It's a red eye flight. I can never sleep on a plane, so I wanna be comfortable. So I'm gonna bring another pair of Talbot's, um, I think it's their ankle pants. Gonna wear them, and then for my shoes on the plane, I will be wearing my navy blue slip-on bionic sneakers. And then I may or may not take this. I haven't worn it yet. It's T by Talbot. It has UPF. I just thought mostly everything I have is sleeveless. Not sure what the weather's gonna be like, but I've heard it can get a little chilly at night. So say if we're sitting out by the pool or just you know walking around, I might want something with sleeves on. So I can wear this and it matches that hoodie perfectly. And I'm going to take these pair of Talbot fleece shorts, which I haven't worn yet, but I showed you in a haul. This uh, go everywhere Talbot skirt, which is new. And I also showed that in a haul. And then these are the pants that I'll be wearing home on the plane. And I also have this, which is new. It's by Talbot's. I'm going to bring it as well because I thought this would go nicely with the linen shorts or even the skort because say we want to go out to dinner and, you know, just don't want to go in shorts. It's kind of dressy. It's kind of dressy casual. I've decided I'm taking the Vera Bradley beach bag with the tropical fish. This is from Amazon. Super cute. I know it doesn't zip up on the top, but I really don't have to carry you know everything with me when I go to the beach and then for shoes I'm gonna have my slip-on sneakers I'm taking these Tory Burch sandals which I absolutely love I'm taking my very dirty flip-flops these are Archie's they're navy I'll wash them when I get there but I always put my shoes like in plastic bags just so they don't uh, touch my clothes and then I'm taking my Vionic I'll call them flip-flops because they're super comfortable. And then in here, I have eight pair of underwear, two pair of no-show socks, and one bra. So I'll have the bra that I have on, I'll have an extra bra, and then in here, I have my two swimsuits. And I also have uh, my pajamas that I'm taking. They're currently in the washing machine. So that's my wardrobe, that's what I'm taking. I feel like I'm taking too much and as I'm packing tomorrow, which I will film and show you all the other stuff that I'm taking as well, like my other carry-on bag, I may choose to leave some of this at home. I think I'm still going to have lots of room in my suitcase and that's the goal because I got to lug this around myself. We're switching planes in LA. I've never been there. I've heard it's a really big airport and if everything goes right, we have a three hour window. So I'm just hoping that we don't have to go, you know, a few terminals over uh, before we get to Maui. Because for us, it's an 18-hour travel day. We have to be up here at 4 a.m. Eastern Time. It's an hour and a bit to get to the airport. We have to be there two to three hours before when it's uh, going to the U.S. And then by the time we get to Maui, I think it's 6 p.m. Maui time. So it'll be midnight here. So that's going to be like a super long day. So make sure you subscribe so you can see if everything fits into my carry-on suitcase. And in the meantime, if you haven't seen my video, 10 tips to hide your belly for the summer, go check out this video and I'll see you there. Bye.